welcome back to Tichita Differential Equations. In the last lecture, we saw exact equations. And now, in this lecture, we want to see if an equation is not exact, how to solve it. So we want to see how to solve equations that are not exact. We're going to use something that is called integrating factor. And you might want to ask what is an integrating factor? Integrating factor is any function f x and y that is not zero, which where we multiply this to our function p dx plus q dy equals zero, it would make it an exact equation so if this is not exact then fp dx plus fq dy is exact correct now there are different ways and different functions for a specific type of equations that would make an equation exact. Let's take a look at three major types. First one is if 1 over q dp over dy minus dq over dx is considered an fx then your integrating factor would be e to the power of integral of fx dx second one is if minus 1 over p dp over dy minus dq over dx equal fy so basically we are saying in the first case this term is a function of x then you will use an integrating factor of such form in the second case if this term is a function of y then your integrating factor is in form of e to the power of fy dy and third example is if you see sine or ln try try remember not always you can get an answer x to the power of alpha b to the power of beta so now let's take a look at some examples and see how this thing works all right, so first example, xy plus y squared dx minus x squared plus xy dy equal to zero. So we're going to say dp over dy is equal x plus 2y and dq over dx is equal minus 2x minus y so this is not exact we know that from previous lecture right therefore let's add these two together right so we're gonna have dp over dy the reason that we're gonna do this if I go back you want to deduct them and see what kind of function you're gonna end up with then we can decide on the integrating factor so minus dq over dx is gonna be 3 x plus y correct so now, if I divide this 
by q, I'm gonna get 3x plus y over minus x, x plus y. Then I can cancel this out and I'm gonna end up with minus 3 over x. So this is a function of x. Therefore, we have case 1, f is e to the power of integral of minus 3 over x dx or e to the power of minus 3 ln x or from here this 3 can go as a power here and then e cancels with ln you'll get x3 right so now we can go back to the previous lecture and try to solve f p d x plus f q d y equals zero. So now this is an important note. If an exact function has a solution. You have infinite number, infinite number of integrating factors. So that's one example. Let's look at another one. Now remember, I told you if 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 you see sine or ln, then use x to the power of alpha, y to the power of beta. What if we try it here? Let's see. Usually with functions that you don't see these type of functions, you don't want to use it. But we can try here and see um, what, what's going to happen. So now I'm going to say x to the power of alpha, y to the power of beta, xy plus y squared dx minus x alpha y beta x squared plus xy dy equal to zero. And from there, we can write down dp over dy is equal beta plus 1, x to the power of alpha plus 1, y beta plus beta plus 2, x to the power of alpha, y to the power of beta plus 1, and dq over dy is equal to minus alpha plus 2, x alpha plus 1, y beta minus alpha plus 1 x to the power of alpha y to the power of beta plus 1 so now if we say this is an exact function it means we should have beta plus 1 is equal to minus alpha plus 2 right because these are equal so the term multiplied is the same and at the same time beta plus 2 should be equal to minus alpha plus 1 what does this give me alpha plus beta is equal to minus 3 alpha plus beta is equal to minus 3 not solvable correct so can't use x to the power of alpha y to the power of beta that being said that tells you why you are not going to use this integrating factor in equations that you don't see sine or ln let's take a look at another example one plus x squared dy minus tan inverse x minus y dx equals zero remember tan inverse is not sine or ln so do not use x to the power of alpha y to the power of 
data. So we're gonna say dy over dp over dy is equal to 1 and dq over dx is equal to 2x. We're gonna minus it's 1 minus 2x and now we're gonna divide by q which is 1 plus x squared this is fx so this is telling me that f is equal to e to the power of integral of fx dx which means e to the power of integral of this function right here which is equal to e to the power of tan inverse x minus ln 1 plus x squared correct or e to the power of tan inverse x over 1 plus x squared and then you can continue to solve this example Okay, I'm gonna stop at this point right here and then in the next session, we're gonna continue integrating factors and then solve more problems. See you guys next time.